Footy talk time for your Wednesday, your daily dose of footy, the latest news, interviews and analysis from the world of AFL. As I look to my left, the wonderful, the magnificent Abby Holmes. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. It's great to be here. Uh, grand final week in full swing. The sun is shining Ooh, yeah. and Melbourne is absolutely pumping. What have we got? Three more sleeps till grand final day? Yeah, three more sleeps. Ooh, I cannot if I have wait. another cashier, it might only be one. And then I look across the desk, a man who is a Brisbane Lions great Superstar. as they make their way into the final Legend. and the grand final this weekend, Mr. <laughs> Brendan Favola. Morning, guys. It was interesting because normally when grand final week, when I drive in, I drive in with my armor guard truck because yep. we're cashiers galore. And then there was two other armor guard trucks. Mm. And then I've walked into this studio <laughs> and the, the cashy queen and the cashy king, you you blokes are everywhere. Yeah, well, Abby isn't a bloke, but we us guys are everywhere. Yeah, the, I'll just say blokes, mate, yeah. chicks, I'm them, the boys, they, aren't I? Mate, we're just, I'm covering all bases. Good, cover all the now, bases. Abs, you're the everywhere. Dale, you're everywhere. Literally, just fill the pockets this weekend. Mate, Abby's going so well at the minute. She had a luncheon yesterday oh, and mate. then was planning on going home. She got a... A call up to do another cashy she didn't even know about that night. That's Mate, just a win. My day yesterday, carbine lunch, hosted that, excited. My mindset, right? 4 p.m., I'm getting to the couch and I'm not moving for 24 hours. Like it had been and a, a big week. 5,000 one come across the table <laughs> when she said, I'll be there in five. Hawthorne <laughs> 2013 Premiership reunion, oh, if wow. you don't mind. So funny. I'm, I'm at this luncheon, little... 3 p.m., look down and I can see Ash Klein calling, of course, the new CEO of the Hawthorne Footy Club. Mm. And I'm going, shit. What are we, what are we, what have I done? <laughs> Not let us swear. Um, sorry, I can't, can I? No, and can. then Daniel Harford, their oh, MC, pets. their MC for the evening, called in sick, the poor guy. Oh, no. So, he flat, yeah. probably needs it too. Got the arch from Carlton. <laughs> yes. So they were left in the lurch and good old Holmesy stepped up to yeah. the plate. And what a night it was, the 2013 Premiership. They've got a very busy couple of years yeah. coming up, Hawthorne, with their reunions and um, and whatnot over the next couple of years. But um, it was good fun. Brent Guerra, as you can imagine, the goo. Goo. on the mic. He's he... actually looking better than what he did when he played, Goo. <laughs> yes. That's because he's taken the possum off yeah. his head. Yeah. He has. He's just embraced it <laughs> he now. Has. He's embraced it, as an either baldness. Um, I saw him down in Rye. Over, I know, down the peninsula at a, at a winery over the summer last yeah. year, and he come up and said g'day, and I literally didn't recognise him. Mm. He's a, not a bad looking rooster. He, he should have embraced the ball mate, years ago. Because I used to just think he was this little fat little wombat that used to run around. <laughs> and I go, mate, you're looking good. No, he's a good looking rooster, isn't he? But um, yeah, he got on the mic singing the old horses. He loves that. How song. was the night? Was there lots there? Did they get the turnout? Obviously, a talking point was Cyril Rioli. If he was going to come he back, did he make the trip back? He didn't. No, and nobody in the room, and of course, no Jack Gunston, who is up in Brisbane uh, for a very Worthy reason not yep. to be there. No, but but um, no, Hodgie was there, obviously the premiership captain in that 2013 year. An amazing, amazing vibe. The boys were up and about. They had pre-drinks before the pre-drinks, of mm, course. Yeah, that's and always then, smart. Well, and Hodgie then played it well because he took the kids. You know, you always got to get credits yep. when you've got a wife. Took yep. the kids to the Melbourne show he during did. the day. Ah, nice. Said, see you in a few more days. And do you know what I love about that is that Loz, his beautiful wife, uh, they, the women, the the partners, the girlfriends um, had a premiership reunion of their own on the Saturday did night. They? That's awesome. That's good. Lozzie, Lozzie got absolutely um, uh, polaxed, polaxed. She couldn't go to the show with the kids, so Hodgie stepped up <laughs> yeah. and uh, ended up taking credits. them himself. He's Me. got credits. Um, what about Hodgie? There's a story going around about him giving one of the most famous... <laughs> Three-quarter time or half-time speeches in a grand final, but for all the wrong reasons. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. When I found out I had this hosting gig in two hours' time, I sent an SOS message to Hodgie, um, and he rang me straight back, and he said, what can I do? And I just asked for a, a few little pointers on, on what I could chat to the fellas about on the panels. And um, Hodgie, apparently, half-time, 2013 grand final against Brisbane, he goes to you know, um, Sam Mitchell and some of the other leaders and say, yep. what do I do here? Um, you know, how do I kind of get the boys up and about for a big second half? And Mitch said to him, Hodgie, oh, just, just relay to the fellas. Don't worry. A free man will come at us. We're four goals up. If they kick the first three or four. So they've changed teams they're playing? What do you mean? Because you said they're playing Brisbane. Fremantle. Yeah. Didn't you say Brisbane at the start? No. Nah. I thought no. you said Jack you know, Gunston versus Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane. Yeah. I'm thinking, geez, they played Brisbane? Me? Are you listening yeah. to me? No, I thought you said Hawthorne played Brisbane. Anyway, like, back to the anyway, great story. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so Hodgie's like, righto, righto, I'm going to get the boys up and about. No worries if they kick the first, you know, two or three. We've just got to, you know, stay in the game and um, we'll be right. Anyway, this somehow translated to Hodgie coming out and saying, boys, I hope that Fremantle will kick the first four, you know, three or four <laughs> goals in the second half. And apparently Isaac Smith, all of them have just like, Looked at him. Are you are you serious? You're a skipper. You meant to say, I hope we kick the first three. Um, but no, some amazing stories, of course. Izzy well, it worked. 
Izzy yeah. kicking that ripping goal in the yeah. fourth quarter back in 2013 and, and Hodgie telling him to stop carrying on like a peanut and head down and um, yeah, just the heat of the battle stuff from Luke Hodge is what you'd love to hear about. Absolutely. He and the lack of inspiration coming from that speech. I remember when he, sure, I think I've told this once, came in at three quarter time, was upset at the mids about not spreading. And he addressed the group. He was going mad. And he goes, we need you to start spreading from the sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the stoppages, he always had something else. You on can his smell board. them in the crowd. Um, Feb, you had a big day yesterday too. We see that you were down at Collingwood training. I did, but it won't be as big as today. Because today... Are you going uh, back uh, for more? No, I'm really nervous today. Because today uh, the AFL announced uh, who's going to hand out the Premiership Cup. Uh, and being a Brisbane great, oh. um, hang on, is I it, and uh, I reckon you might be. It could oh. be us too. Oh I, I could be given the cup oh because there's goodness. no other players. Like, there's like Brownie, Blackie, Acker, yep. all those blokes that played mm. in the but three or four grand but, finals. Who they cared about? Yeah. Like, I'll put bums on seats. Correct. And you <laughs> I, got sacked in rehab. So uh, without a lawsuit yeah, coming, this could be I the think, makeup. I think I, I've already sent the letter threatening yep. to sue him. Good. And if I don't get this opportunity, because I didn't get a lap of honour. They wouldn't let me do a lap of honour when I retired. Mm. I didn't get to do the Coleman when in 2009 after the Brown. I didn't get to do my lap of honour. This is my moment. This could this be it. I think, time. I'm, I think I'm back on the G. I t- oh, and what <laughs> on the hallowed turf. And then I'll rip the jumper off and put, have a cart one underneath. No, I did have a big day yesterday. <laughs> I got dead on my uh, radio show, Abs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fifi, is that going all right, the radio Fevernick. show? Oh, it's going well, mate. We're just sitting at the top, which oh, is good. Okay. Um, yeah, it's tough at the top. <laughs> It is hard to get there, but it's pretty quick to get shot back down. So yeah. when the next ratings go, we'll probably be shot back down. No, she dared me to go because I've been doing street talk. I've brought back footy street talk. Love that. Through the finals because everyone's favourite segment of the footy segment. show. was yep. the, Oh, has it been done before? Yeah. It's called the footy show. <laughs> yeah. uh, street talk. So uh, we thought we'd bring about the first week of finals because Carlton were in up and about. And then uh, Sam Newman rang in uh, during the week Ooh. and said, you've stolen my segment. Oh. So. Uh, me being a smart man, I invited Sam to do street talk with me the next week. And he said, okay, Brennan, I'll do it. And he was only three days post-surgery on his shoulder. So he was cooked, the old boy. So he's having a good time so he went regardless. So Carlisle Street, did it with him. And then I thought it was over because the Blues got beat on the weekend and uh, we're no longer in the grand final. No, but Fee, uh, being the wonderful radio content machine she is, dared me to go to Collingwood training yesterday at uh, nine o'clock. So I left the show early at quarter to nine. And I had to dress up in Brisbane kit Ooh. and go through all the ferals. That's brave. It was. It went well. I thought it actually weren't too bad, the Collingwood supporters. A little 12-year-old kid came up to me and told me to piss off and go home. Um, <laughs> he did. We played that on air this morning. <laughs> or he'd get his younger um, brother to belt. There was a lot of nuff- <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's strange because there's a lot of nuffies. Uh, a lot Some of nuff- strong nuffs. feedback. A lot of nuffies. Yeah. And I'm a nuff. So mm-hmm. it was nuff on nuff. Yeah. And uh, Do you the cancel each other out? <laughs> Do you cancel each other out? Yeah, the, the audio wasn't great, mate. That just really, <laughs> really go through about 45 minutes of audio to play about two minutes, and they just got there. No, but it was fun down there. What a vibe. Jeez, the, mm. Con- yeah. the, the Collingwood Army. God, good luck on the weekend. On the weekend, Brisbane trying to outnumber them. You got some strong feedback online. And we'll I put did, some of it up I on did. our socials. Uh, abs, I... Um, <laughs> the internet's undefeated in mm. this regard. It's gone nuts, let's be honest. Uh, someone took... Uh, Pap took a photo, and it got released yesterday. Um, of me wearing the jumper now it was one of uh, Will, uh, who works at Triple M here at, uh, at the SCA building. He's a he's a Brisbane nuffy, oh. so he had all his Brisbane kid here. So I've worn his Charlie Cameron jumper, and it's real small. Yeah, and I'm real fat, um, <laughs> and it didn't quite fit. <laughs> and it's, she's real tight, so they've taken the probably the, I had a beanie on, and I took my tooth out because I got a got a false tooth. Oh, so. Mm. I took that out. I took, I took I that out just so I could, bit. just so I could get involved with the Collingwood supporters because you know that the old gag they got no teeth. So yeah. I thought this will be one way they'll fall in love with me a little bit. And Jesus Christ, the picture they got of me on the on the on the oh god, it's not well. I put it up on our Carlton WhatsApp. We've got a uh, pretty famous sort of group in our WhatsApp, and um, Dave Hughes, had, someone had put it on, and Dave Hughes, the great comedian. Um, he said, mate, this is the worst Photoshop photo ever. And I had to write underneath. <laughs> it's not Photoshopped. It's real. But I was getting called fatty. The Collingwood players won't be uh, at the MCG on Saturday. Breaking news. Fev ate them all. Um, Fev's been eating pot. Been stunned by a bee. And someone wrote underneath it, not one, but a million. Um, it, it was. Your someone said I look like. O positive. It's bolognese. <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, the bolognese. I look like a, a ten-day straight Mick Malloy. Um, 
<laughs> mate, should have seen something, mate. I was getting Does butchered. Does anyone offend you? Every no, angle. Oh, no. Even the Wiggles commented. Oh, no. <laughs> Bloody Wiggles. What did the Wiggles, the Wiggles have to say? The Wiggles just put big fat eyes. <laughs> The Wiggles, when come the, on! Anyway, it was fun down there, and um, it uh, yeah, it was a it was a good segment. It went well. So, can we just revert back quickly to that sound effect of Fev pulling his tooth oh, yeah. out uh, about uh, five seconds no, ago? We'll be uh, there. Oh, it goes. We'll be able God. to put it up online because yeah, you'll see that. Your reaction visual. <laughs> was pretty well. Hey, uh, hang around, guys. We've got plenty more to talk to. We'll talk reactions to the Brownlow, plus a big preview still of what's coming up this weekend. This is the Footy Talk Podcast. Welcome back to the Footy Talk Podcast. If you're listening on Spotify, please hit the bell. Abby Holmes and Brennan Favola in with me. Team, did we all watch the Brownlow on Monday night? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, right, I did. You did? I we was, were in I the was room, on Lockie though, Neal at 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gamble responsibly, of course. Uh, you you just... had to watch it. You were in the room. Well, I was in the room with you, actually. Yes. But uh, what an incredible count. Came down to, of course, the last oh. game, the last round in, in round 24. Lockie Neal polling three votes to take him to 31 to leapfrog the bont. You've got a feel for Marcus Bontempelli on 29 votes. And then Nick Dacos, 28 Jeez, votes. Stiff, Third spot. We know that he missed out on that, those final three games, but what an unbelievable count. And, and a very big congratulations to Lockie Neal, who is, of course, heading into one of the biggest weeks of his life. Do we buy into the fact that the umpires constantly get it wrong? Oh, um, well, well, so do we. Yeah, well, and, and I said this uh, to someone post who was having a go at the umpires. I said, I was often in the special chairs comment, Row two, as good a view of the game as you can see. But if it's a close game and you don't really have time to take in who's actually playing well, you're just watching. Mm. It's hard to come up with who's actually the better player at the end of the game. How so do we you... get it? Because we look at stats and you guys yes. commentate and you see. But I, so my theory, so I back Lockie Neal. Didn't have the best season no. of any player that was up there in the top five. Probably the least out of the top five. But my theory was, so I thought to myself now... Brisbane won a lot of games. Smart. They won every game at home. I looked at clearances. Number one. In the comp. In the comp of yeah. clearances. Where are the umpires? Next to the clearances. Right next to the clearances. Right at the Colfax. They're in the clinches. Dacos, and he gets him outside and everyone's cheering and they're running. Oh, the umpires are running, so they're concentrating on something else. When the balls bounce and it's a clearance, the umpires aren't moving, so they can see mm. exactly what goes on. And I'm thinking, and forwards don't get any. They get the Coleman, so that's not, forwards mm. don't get anything. And, you know, you see, I think I kicked nine goals against Richmond one day and didn't get a vote. Kicked eight, seven against Collingwood, didn't get a vote. Easy best on ground. 15 shots on goal, didn't get a vote. Errol Goulden had 42 and two and got one. And got one vote. I kicked and the nine backman... in a grand final and didn't get BOG. Really? Yeah. Yep. Mm. There, really. there you go. Um, and backmen just get nothing because they're, they're forwards that can't <laughs> play. So they're useless. So. Yeah. Um, so it is a midfielder's count and he piles so well all the time. So And, and the Bulldogs didn't win enough game for the Bont to win. If they won two or three more games, he wins yeah. it easy. Yeah. So that was my theory on Lockie Neal. He's well deserved. He, he did have a good year, he but did, not yeah. as good as what he's last. See, he was pipped last year when Carlton um, got the lawyer, gave him a bit of cash on the table, and he got three votes against Collingwood. He would have won Lockie Neal because right. Cripps got that three votes yeah, in the last, last game, round. so yeah. it pipped him. But I was watching the, the odds because I was at a function at the MCG. And um, your you're, you're points bet, yep. I'm Bet Nation ambassador, gamble responsibly, but on the sports bet ad, um, that he was 15 bucks. And then after round five, he went into six. After round eight, he was $2. And then still with three rounds to go, he was four behind. Yep. Lockie Neal. And he was $1.15. I'm thinking he has to win. Has yeah. They know. Yeah. They have to know. The algorithm knows. The algorithm oh, undefeated like Gabriel internet. else knows. Gil's, well, I don't know how Gil reads it. Oh, the suspense. Gold Coast versus Melbourne. Yeah, the games that don't matter. <laughs> Brisbane versus, and he just really drags it out. So I knew, you just knew he was going to win. It was his last one as well. So yeah. he really, he really handed, handed up. Dad Thomas, night. did you get three votes at the after party? I didn't. No. I did. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> you got three, two, and, and, two, and, and one. one. Correct. And zero. And, then and sacked. And got <laughs> booted off a <of> network. <laughs> Which, no, no, I didn't, I didn't quite get uh, that caught up. I had to keep it pretty tame. So mm. we did lots of recording throughout the day and then did Mark and Goal of the Year, which came on about three quarters of the way through mm. it. So yeah. I reckon I got my first beer in about 9.30. Mm. Yeah, it was... God, you know, pre-drinks. I did see the who got the votes for before the Brownlow started. Yes. Uh, I was watching um, some clips on Instagram 
and there was two people in a hotel room in a, in a robe and mm. and they were doing little TikTok dances. Yeah, no, that was. And uh, Ab's got the three votes. So I was watching th- you guys. You, you and you you really bailed out. Oh, I did. You left, you left yeah. her hanging. No, uh, Ab's, I was quite Ab's disappointed. Was covering it. No, so, you and got then a bit little Ryan Daniels that we brought along. No, Who I was just, that dude? <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> he's but I, I was I was performing very very well. I you, thought. I love lo- um, the energy. Looked More to energy. my right, and we made Ryan Daniels yeah. dance, much to his disgust. I tried to get him to dance live on television. Is that the dude that plays for wouldn't. GWS? No. No, that's um, Brent Daniels. Oh. Yeah. And then you, I looked to my left, and you were gone. No. I was done. I was you exhausted from feeding you grapes and yeah. pouring you champagnes from I was disappointed in, in you. You did a very good job, Thank Abs. You. I was very impressed. It was a good morning. I can be better. There's no <laughs> doubting that. Yeah. Uh, still on the brown low, anyone you would have liked to have seen? Like, seen win it. Oh, Bont, I think. The Bont you Forever were. Forever a bridesmaid, never a bride. Mm. And and he's been unbelievable for the last, what, three or four years? Um, 2021 20, runner up as well. Um, so he's been runner up on a number of occasions, but just hasn't quite got there. Surely he just hates it. Yeah. Like, imagine going in every year as the favourite and I'm talked about and then just missing. We wouldn't know. I uh, know. Yeah. Right. And I couldn't give a stuff who won as long as whoever you pun on wins. That's, How's that's... Errol Gordon as well? Mate, what a great year. What an incredible yeah. year for I the young it. fella. I've got a crush on Errol. Yeah, yeah, third season. The Sydney Swans boys were having a bloody good time as well. So was Millsy. Yeah, well, have you... Oh, you should <laughs> have seen t- the... Do you want to touch on that now? You should have seen the Carlton mob. Oh, mate, well. oh, well, they have, Fresh that off. would have been... Yeah, when Doherty was up there having a chat, he's losing his voice. <laughs> but they, obviously that's understandable. Have you issued an official apology? To who? To every player that has has to has had to have attended the Brownlow after you. Yeah, because the Favola rule is uh, being initiated, where you can only have a certain amount of drinks at the table at a certain amount of time. Because yeah. back in the old days, Abs, that table was like a damn Murphy's. There yeah. was alcohol everywhere, <laughs> and they just top it up. Yeah, and you just it's a free for all, and you just go nuts. And then uh, I do cop messages. I cop messages uh, on Monday night. I, every year, I cop messages, and the messages always read, "You prick." Yeah, we're and that thirsty because so. it's like one every hour or that, something. Every like that. second oh. ad break, they top yeah, your they beers top up your beers. <laughs> and when the ad I, was, <laughs> I, I was having a, I was having a great time. I had, that was I the evilest beers. laugh yes. I've ever heard. Yes. You ruined it. You got to leave a legacy ad. sometimes, Abs. If you've got a question for us, get on the Instagram at Footy Talk underscore Pod, TikTok at Footy Talk Pod. Tomorrow on Triple M, twelve to one, and the podcast on Listener App. Daisy Thomas, that's me, and he's Shaw with more previews <laughs> of what's been a massive week. No doubt there'll be more news knocking around. Hang around. Thanks for joining us. This has been the Footy Talk Podcast.